Well, this is a big victory for dog lovers who say for years, breed alone has not been a good indicator of behavior. The governor signed this bill back in April, and it will mean changes in communities like Auburn and Enumclaw. We do a lot of it. When it's time to belly up to the bar at Boff Bark and Brew, don't be surprised if you find this place has truly gone to the dogs. And that's just the way they like it around here. Dogs just want to please you at the end of the day. And it depends on what kind of reward system you give them is how they act. When it comes to what breeds of dogs they'll welcome, owner Ryan Matthew says he doesn't think labels matter. After years of observing dog behavior, it's not about the type of dog. I don't think any breed should be banned just because of the breed itself. It basically comes out an individual dog. Matthew says he's glad to hear the state is getting rid of breed bans, especially because for so many years, We've been guessing wrong. Take Freya, for instance. My dog was a total surprise. She was adopted as a mutt um, German Shepherd mix, and she is not German Shepherd at all. A DNA test showed this sweet girl is the mix of many types of dogs, including a Great Pyrenees. They hope with new legislation, more animals will be treated the same way most humans would like to be treated, judged based on how they act, not how they look. It has a lot to do with, I think, the training the dog gets, but also people's perception of their breeds aren't always correct. And cities can still impose a ban if they allow an if they allow individual animals to be exempted by passing an evaluation, something like the AKC Canine Good Citizen Test. Those animals would have to be given at least two years between evaluations, and an animal who initially fails could retest after a reasonable period. Back to you guys. Amy, thank you.